Push. If you hit a creature with this weapon, you can push the creature up to 10 feet away from you if it is no more than one size larger than you. I knew this was going to be something like this. Are you, like... I mean, there's going to be, like, okay, sure, crossbow... Actually, in a crossbow, that's pretty decent. But, like, crossbow, are you ever really going to use that, like, a pike because of that? Wouldn't you prefer to use a lance at that point? Like... I don't know what topple is. I'm assuming it gives it, it like drops him. Plus, this becomes one-handed if you're mounted. Like I don't know. Push. Like don't get me wrong. Like there are a decent amount of like repelling blast and shit like that aren't bad abilities. And I've used the crusher feet, and it's not like pushing is a bad ability. It's just it sometimes feels very limited. Like you need to really be able to abuse it. Right, so I don't know if a lot of people are just base gonna pick up push, but that's just me. Sap, if you hit a creature with this weapon, that creature has disadvantage on its next attack roll before the start of your next turn. Fuck, that's good for tanks. Oh shit, that's good. What what weapons has that? Wait, what has sap on it? A morning star. <laughs> Is that the oh no a flail. A flail, a morning star. Is there something else? No, just a flail and a morning star. Ooh. Okay, I get that. I get why they put it on these, because that's a really powerful ability. Because it's like, is it their weapon attack? Just their next weapon attack, I'm assuming, right? Disadvantage on its next attack roll, so it's not even weapon attack if they cast like Firebolt or whatever, they're still fucked. Um that's that's interesting because like this is like this is good for like protecting your allies right you're like you you attack a creature they take a little bit of damage but at the same time they now have disadvantage on their next attack roll also i wonder the next attack because it's only one attack roll though so once you get to like higher levels this is a lot less value because you know you only negate one attack but i wonder if like if you would be able if you're if you have like four attacks as a fighter and you attack with a morning star if you'd be able to like hit 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 if you'd literally be able to just say like your next four attacks until the start of your next turn were a disadvantage because at that point this would be really good right because you'd be able to like have a dragon who has three attacks base and their next legendary tail attack roll for a disadvantage if you just attack them four times. Like, yeah, I think this this is a good one. I'm a fan of this. Slow, if you hit a creature with this weapon, deal damage to it, uh, reduce its speed by 10 feet until the start of your next turn. Uh, if you hit the creature more than once with this property, the speed reduction doesn't exceed 10 feet. So you can only slow them for 10 feet. Again, like, slow and push. <sighs> like, what's this on? Musket and longbow. Or I have slow. Eh. Eh. I guess, like, the idea is, like, you kind of shoot them in the foot. Give or take, I guess. Whip. Whip has... Wait, a whip has slow? Really? That, that one feels weird to me for some weird reason. I don't know why. Uh, sling, because you shoot him in the eye, I guess. Crossbow, same thing. Javelin. I mean, if you have a ja giant javelin sticking out of you, that, that explains a lot. And club, probably, because they're, like, dazzled or whatever. Whip is the only one that I really don't get. And because they're afraid to, like, come close to you, because you just, like, whoosh, smack them. I don't know. Again, like... <sighs> Again, like, slow and push, like, don't get me wrong, they're not bad to have. It just feels like these are abilities where it's like, how often do you really get value out of this? Like, on ranged weapons, I think these two have a decent chunk of, of value, if I'm being perfectly honest, right? Like, if you're shooting them with a crossbow and they get 10 feet less um, until the start of your next turn, like, even if they dash, let's say that they're like a 30 feet character... They go down to 40 feet of movement, even with a dash. So you have more time to shoot them, which, if you're positioning well, slow can be really good, and push can also be pretty good. Uh, push also has the advantage of, you know, throwing people off a fucking building. 
slow. However, you know, once you get into melee, sure. Like if they if they want to like move to another character who's like thirty feet away, and you slow them, so now they only have twenty feet. Like there's limited cases for it, of course. There's limited cases for all of these, but yeah, I don't know. Topple, if you hit a creature with a weapon, you can force the creature to make a constitution saving throw, DC 8 plus your prof uh, proficiency bonus, plus the ability modifier you made. Maybe. Yeah, I figured. They become prone. So, I don't think topple is bad. Um, but you have to be really careful with it. Uh, this is not just because a lot of higher level creatures uh, get immunity to prone. This is mostly because prone, as far as I remember, prone still gives ranged attacks disadvantage, right? Which would mean that if you're attacking someone and you're putting them prone, you still have the downside of, you, you still have the downside of, your allies now having disadvantage on their attacks. So I think Topple is very party based. Don't get me wrong, once you get like two attacks, or if you're a fighter, three attacks, um, like you can make your first attack and now they fall prone, and now you have advantage on the rest of your attacks. Don't get me wrong, at that point this is still pretty good. But you do have to be careful if you're like fight alongside people but i think topple's good i think topple's good like you know for on a mole sure are there ranged weapons that have it i don't think so right topple trident trident has topple sure like here also here's the thing like wouldn't you always like pick a lance over a pike at that point like if you don't know what encounter you're getting into isn't a lance just like better than a pike because pushing is kind of limited I don't know, maybe, I mean, you are you still have your character build, of course. It just, I don't know. Like, don't get me wrong, I will say, like, uh, let, let's let's first do the final, the final, because I think there's only one more, right? Um, topple, Vex. If you hit a creature with this weapon and deal damage to the creature, you have advantage on your next attack roll against that creature before the end of your next turn. Excuse me, what? <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, what? <laughs> Wait, 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 hold, hold on, hold on, what? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why is this an ability? <laughs> oh, prereq, no, ammunition, finesse, or light. What? Why is this a thing? <laughs> that seems busted. This seems insane. Why would you do that? Wait, what's that on? It's on a pistol. I mean, sure. It's on a crossbow, it's on a blow. Is this something they just put on every fucking weapon or what? Like, fucking hell, short sword, sure. Sure, let's give it to the fucking rogue weapons. Let's give it to the fucking most used rogue. Let's give it to short bow. Yeah, man. <laughs> oh no. Oh, I can see where they're going with this. Oh, fuck. You just bonus action, like, like you bonus action high to make sure you have advantage on your first shot. You hit the attack. You get your sneak attack. And now you have advantage on your next attack against it. Don't get me wrong. It's against it. So you can't, like, start switching targets if you do that. But still, Vex seems pretty fucking good, though. It's on... Why is that on a dart? What is Vex... I don't know what Vexalia has to do with this, but, like... It's on a hand axe. Why is this on a hand axe? What the fuck? I'm assuming it's, like, some sort of surprise? Like, oh, no, I have a dart in my eye. I'm surprised. I have, I have, what the fuck? I mean, it's probably just off of balancing. Sure, I get it, but, like... Okay, here, so, I will give them props, right? So we've, we've gone through all of them, I'm pretty sure. We've gone through all the, the, the masteries, right? I will give them props. 
that overall, this is going to make weapons feel different for martial classes, which, let's be honest, is what weapons are mostly for, right? I know that there's uh, chuckle fucks out there who, you know, play a warlock and use a weapon. But, like, I don't know. It just, it, it feels, it, it feels interesting. It feels like a good start to a system. I don't know if I'm 100% happy with it. I don't think it's 100% balanced yet. Uh, I think there's a couple of good ones in there. Like, um, I'm going to be perfectly honest. I'm a pretty big fan of, like, Nick and um, Sap, I think, is pretty interesting. As like if you're playing like more of a defensive fighter than an offensive fighter or defensive barbarian, whatever you want to go with. Um like I think there's a couple of good ones in here, definitely. Uh Nick, like yeah, I think is decent. Um I think honestly, Nick, I would have still preferred to have just seen the old bonus action extra attack. But I don't know from a balancing standpoint. Is that... Is that... I don't know if that's good from a balancing standpoint, right? I still think you get more attacks with two greatsword attacks. Or you get more average damage with two greatsword attacks than with three, like, dagger attacks. Maybe they were just mostly thinking, like, if we're going to put stuff like Vex or, or like... Uh, not flex, but like if you're, if you're gonna put shit like that on it, maybe these weapons get become too broken, so they wanted to tone it down a little bit. Maybe that's the reasoning behind it. But overall, I think this is an interesting system. Like it's a good start, definitely. I think they have to refine it a little bit. Um, because the thing is, for like. <sighs> It also depends on how you get your weapon masteries. If your weapon masteries are like pick one weapon, then then I think this is a bad system because I think the point of a fighter should be the fact that they can change weapons. That they can, you know, pick up a weapon, they can pick up a fucking random hammer from a from a stable and just start fighting with it. I think that's the whole idea behind like a fighter. I think the whole idea behind a barbarian is it doesn't care with what it what what it slaps the shit out of people with. It just slaps the shit out of people, you know? So yeah. Um and I've also mentioned this, I just I still think finesse is a problem. I still think finesse is a problem. I don't like here's the thing. I, I mentioned how like I like the idea that, like, a longsword with flex, you can now just deal a d10 damage instead of a d8 damage, which means it's not strictly better than a fucking scimitar anymore. Or, well, which means it's not, like, the same fucking thing, like a scimitar, like a, not a scimitar, like a rapier in, like, 95% of cases. But then you fucking see that rapier has vex, which is like, oh, you get advantage on your next attack. It's like, oh, oh, yeah, I, I'd much rather have the plus one damage each attack <laughs> like you know like don't get me wrong like i'd still probably build a strength fighter with with a long sword over a rapier because of that one point of damage but like yeah i don't know i i still th like they still need to revert finesse back to what it is in pathfinder where like your attack bonus is is with dex but your damage is with strength I still think they need to do that. Would also nerf rogues a little bit. I, 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 yeah, I think that's like a big one that's still necessary. But other than that, yeah, sure. It's, it's, I mean, it's a good system. I think it's a good start. Adventuring gear. Um, here are descriptions of miscellaneous items whose rules have changed for this playtest. Sure, net. Okay. They changed the net. Do you really think I'm going to remember what the fuck's in a priest pack? I know I'm being very random right now, but, like, what the fuck? Anyway. Uh, net. When you take the attack action on your turn, replace one of your attacks with a throw of the net at a creature within 50 feet. 
15 feet, sorry. Target must succeed on a dexterity saving throw. Target succeeds automatically with two or larger. Okay. Becomes restrained, must make a strength athletics check. Is there anything that changed from the original? Out of out of like sheer pure curiosity? Like this is an actual question that I have right now. Did anything change? Oh, where is it? Here. God damn it. No, this is improvised weapons, silvered weapons, special weapons. A larger, smaller creature, which uh, huge is, I think, the size above large, is hit uh, hit by a net, is restrained until it's free. It has no effect on formless creatures, sure. Uh, a creature can use its action to make a DC 10 strength check. Okay, so they did... <laughs> wow. They changed it from a strength check to a strength athletics check. My god. Um, freeing itself or another creature within its reach. Okay, they did make this within five feet of the target rather than within its reach. So that's a small change. Which, I mean, sure. It makes sense that you have to be a little bit closer to get an entire fucking net off. Especially like a cre a, a net that can take down a large creature, makes sense. I still think nets like late like higher levels nets just don't do shit anymore, right? Like, you ever has anyone ever used a net out of sheer like you legitimately might have? Maybe you were role playing a fisherman, and at that point, maybe you had a fucking trident as well. That would be great. I would love it. I think that's a great idea for a character. Fuck, I want to play that now. But still, <laughs> how many times do you really use a net? Right? Uh, so dealing five slashing damage to the nets also frees the creature without harming it. Has anyone notice that there's no thing about fire? Creature within five feet, destroying the nets. Yeah, okay, so apparently in the original. Okay, so the big change though, because this is what net does say. In the original, net um, only gave you one attack. Um, no matter the number of attacks you can make. Here, it does allow you to replace one of your attacks with it, which that is, to be fair, I, I will say, like, being able as, as, like, a fighter or a creature with dual wielding to be like, I'm going to attack once, although this probably wouldn't work with dual wielding because it's not a light weapon, but like being able to like make your attack like throw your net and then still make a second attack i do think that's a good change and originally it was five points of slashing damage now it's anything except for bludgeoning poisoning and psychic because apparently you although i will say i do, do find it funny that the original net wasn't able to be burned apparently uh. And they changed priest pack. I what did they change? What 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 happened to priest pack? What the frick happened to priest pack? I don't understand. Why why would I care? For realsies though, why would I care what happened to a flipping pack? Uh, uh nothing here. I can't. I can't find the. I can't be bothered to go and find the packs. I, I still hate packs. By the way, I just. I. I don't like these things. I think they increased the rations. Is that literally what it did? Is that? I'm going to look this up now because it annoys me. I am going to look this up now because it annoys me. Because apparently I need to know what a priest pack has now. Priest pack. Here you go. Originally backpack. Yay, a blanket. Yay, a lamp. They changed ten candles into a lamp. Cool. Holy water. Oh, now you get to start with holy water. Which makes sense for a priest, I guess. Originally, like, what? You had, like, incense and, like, two blocks of incense and alms boxes, censer, vestments, which I'm assuming is robes. Originally, it only had two days of rations. Now you have seven days of rations. Woohoo! 
and you still have a tinderbox. You don't get a water skin anymore. Oh my god, this game is now unplayable. You don't get a water skin anymore. What the fuck? <laughs> what is this? Are you supposed to drink your holy water? Is that it? Like, ugh, anyway. Oh, that was fun. Um, <laughs> that was a great waste of my time. Forkin hell, I, 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 I don't know. I legitimately do not know. <sighs> what was I doing? Right, I was looking through the UI. Anyway, um, I think that's the, the adventuring gear then? Yeah, okay.